What's the Mardi Gras blues? The Mardi Gras blues is a is that you don't get to go to any Mardi Gras parade. So that gives us a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad. What about what's great about being in Baton Rouge? Mardi Gras refers to carnival celebrations in the South. Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday, a name given to the last day of eating rich, fatty foods before a period of fasting. One thing Mardi Gras is known for is all the parades. On many of the floats, people dress up in masks and costumes and throw beads, necklaces, and stuffed animals to us. We stand right next to the float and scream out, throw me something, and they do. The high school marching bands are awesome. The Mardi Gras parade you are watching now is called Crew of Ornaments, one of the many family-friendly nighttime parades in Baton Rouge. Nighttime parades are so much fun with all the pretty lights and strange-looking float. What is so cool about Artemis Parade is that you have to be a girl to ride the floats and pass out the beads. No boys allowed. One of the things I love about the parade is getting beads and other toys that the float riders hand out. Take a look at the beads and toys I got. If every kid along the parade route gets this many beads, then the women dressed in costume on the float must pass out a lot of beads. That led my dad and me to wonder how many beads does an Artemis float rider need to buy for the parade to pass out to us kids? My dad and I called up a bead supply store and they said that a float rider should expect to pass out about 400 beads per mile for a parade the size of Artemis. We then used a map of the 2015 Artemis Parade route in Baton Rouge to figure out how many beats float riders need to buy. Can you use a map of the parade route to figure out how many beats also? I'll give you a hint. It's a lot of beats. <laughs>